a ribbon cutting inside a classroom, and ignition of some of the first flames inside a tower. Two ways to celebrate a debut for two cities. This is an awesome, awesome adventure, number one, between the city of Irving and the city of Grand Prairie. This is Irving and Grand Prairie's new joint fire training facility. We're celebrating a great day in the Irving Fire Department history as well as Grand Prairie. Irving's previous fire training tower is from the late 1960s. Irving voters approved funding for a new training facility years ago, but it took a while to get it going. Construction prices go up and they outgrow what your funding is, and so we got creative. The two cities split the construction cost and will split the cost of operation. Being able to have a joint venture with the city of Grand Prairie to help share the cost, to help share operations, is a great way to partner with cities to help save taxpayer dollars. So it's going to be huge for both the city of Grand Prairie and Irving. And on top of that, we'll, we will learn to work as cities together. The major feature in this building is a classroom. We've been assured by all our designers that this is a fireman-proof facility. <laughs> then the other big building is the burn tower. Every floor represents a different challenge firefighters could face in the city. At this opening event, visitors got an idea of the flames that are controlled by this simulator. This allows us to do is just be very creative, do it in a safe manner, and fight very realistic, highly pressurized fires. The first floor also offers access to a five-story elevator shaft. And what this allows our technical rescue team to do is to do either grain silo simulation or elevator shaft rescues. Then moving upstairs. This is a breaching door that our crews can come up, whether by ladder or by fire escape, and they can actually train on their breaching of the door to enter a facility. One floor up, we happened upon Irving Councilman Dennis Webb, a retired Grand Prairie after, firefighter. After almost 30 years of it, you know, there's all kind of hazards that we uh, are confronted with. So it just kind of helps remind them when they actually get the real hazard, they can fall back on their training. We continue our way up the tower and reach the top. The best part of all this is the penthouse view. For all that you can see from this point, there are some features you cannot because they are underground. Under that area are facilities for confined space and trench rescue. And looking back up, you can see dual combat stairs. This is definitely going to increase safety, not only for our residents, but most importantly for our firefighters. This facility was built for them. To underscore the potential danger of the job, the city's named the streets on this campus for fallen firefighters. And it's only appropriate and only fitting to remember those who have passed in the line of duty. We need to recognize them and not forget them as we move forward with our training. Moving forward with facilities that are helping the city earn a special designation, ISO 1 from the Insurance Services Office can mean lower rates. And with us being a 1, it, it entices more corporate to move into our city which keeps taxes reduced for our citizens that live here. All benefits to the new Joint Fire Training Facility. We have the ability to make sure that our residents or businesses are safe. We want to make sure that our firefighters have the best training facilities and the best opportunities to practice and learn by experience. And that's what it's all about. 